I think he's pulling up. Yep. He pulling up right now. <laughs> you better come here, boy. Babe squad. I go to jail by that one. I mess a chick up by that one. I break the bank by that one. Cause I ain't playing by that one. I la 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 her. I la 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 la. squad it's your girl eva the black unicorn back with another video you guys this is a special video i am in bay's office because i'm on the lookout for bay to make sure he ain't here yet i have been cooking up something for so long for like four months now i've been saving and i've been planning on a surprise that i know will make up for all the surprises billy has ever done for me not even just the surprises for everything that billy has done for me I just wanted to do something to to like repay him and y'all don't understand like my dream I was like I'm going right into it you guys but it don't matter I don't really care I'm freestyling this video my dream since me and Billy got together not even since we got together maybe like a good five years into our relationship has always been Anyways, y'all, my dream ever since me and Billy was like five years. And I really, I feel like at the five year mark, I really knew I was in love with Billy. And some people might say, oh, that's so long. But you don't understand love when you start loving more and more and more and more and realizing like, oh, snap, I really do love this person. And at the five year mark, I used to always have this dream of getting Billy a Porsche because that was his dream car. He always wanted a Porsche. And I wanted to be the person to get it for him. I ain't had no bread though, but... I, a girl can dream, you know, you know, bay goals, you know, I always wanted to do that for him. And it's like the gift that I'm getting Billy today, the the gift that I got him is I know it's going to blow his mind. It's going to make him it's going to I don't know, kid. I just know it's going to blow his mind and I have to blow his mind because you guys see how much Billy done for me. I see how he got me the BMW and I. I wanted I never had a luxury car in my life honestly and it's like thank you babe you feel me thank you he surprised me with my puppy cloudy which I love cloudy so much he surprised me with us moving into this beautiful house that we worked so hard to get like I didn't think we were gonna be able to get this house but behind the scenes he did the paperwork and did all that and make sure that we got it and I'm grateful for him for that he got me Messiah not like he got me Messiah as if Messiah is a gift but like Without him, I would not have such a special son. Like my son is the best son in the whole wide world to me. Like he, he's like no other. There's it's like, he could not be, he could not have been created by anybody else. Like we created the most special kid in history. And without Billy, I would not have Messiah. He's the perfect mix of us two. And I just love him. And I'm about to have another one. And it's like, I just I just love him and going back from years before guys like this these are things that you don't know about me but in high school let me tell you a little story time quick story time I lived in an efficiency a efficiency is like the size of my garage and um, probably smaller than my garage it was way smaller than my garage probably a one car garage so I stayed in like a one car garage with me my mom my brother and my cousins and like nobody really knew that because in high school i was the ish.com i had shoes i had clothes i had hair i was doing all that you feel me but nobody really knew how i was living billy did and he didn't judge me you know he he just wanted to be with me and i remember a time when i cooked for him in that little ass part like the little ass place i didn't even have a stove i had like an electric stove so i cooked for him and i gave him the his food in a bowl and a spoon and he was like hold on i eat with forks so where the fork at and I'm like, ain't no, I don't got no forks. And I was boo crying because I didn't have no forks. And he was like, no, 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 it's okay, it's okay. I'm gonna eat with the spoon then. And it's like, he's always making an effort to adjust his life. He was always making an effort to adjust the way he lived to like make me feel comfortable because I ain't have it the way he had it in high school. You know, he had mom, dad, his own bedroom, bathroom, all that. And me, I was poor lifestyle. And another thing, he like he made me feel like I was just a regular girl, even though I was a poor girl. You feel me? And it was like he didn't make me feel embarrassed of it. Like we also we both from different sides. Like he from West Side, I was from the East Side. And like for West Side guys, it's like forbidden 
for you guys to be on 6 Ave. But Bay used to like catch a jitney when he didn't have a car. He used to get on a jitney, drive, ride down 6 Ave to come to my house, walk through Oak Grove Park. <laughs> and he had so many chances to get his ass jumped. But it's like he never cared. Like he used to just come see me and hang out with me and just never made me feel little. And that shit, that really, that really like, at that time it made me appreciate him so much because I didn't think, you know, a guy of his standard would do that, you feel me? And I was impressed and I was hum grateful because the way he humbled himself for me. And we went through so much together, you guys, from the time when I was nine months pregnant, the house getting shot up at, and Billy's outside defending us, shooting back. And I didn't know if he was gonna even make it out alive. You know, he could have died outside, but he was out there. And to the point where he had, he realized like, you know what, I gotta just get my family out of here. He packed up everything. I didn't even know that he rented a house in Orlando, rented an apartment in Orlando. Like I didn't even know the house. I didn't see nothing. He just left because Masai was a month old at that time. So he left, came back with a suburban truck, packed up all my stuff, Masai's stuff and his stuff. And we left, just took me out of Miami and brought me to Orlando. And it's like a man, only a man does that. A little boy would have been like, we gonna thug it out. Ain't nobody gonna chase me out of Miami and we probably would have died or something. But he was man enough to know, you know, this is a dangerous situation for me, my dom and my son, let me get him out of here. And he ain't required nothing from me. Like he just did it all on his own. Furnished the house and everything, just moved to the side of Miami. And I know you guys don't know that. Like y'all don't even know that we come from we come from the hood, kid. Like, we are not, we not these people. Well, we not, we, we weren't these people who just had good lives. I know I didn't. I did not have a good life. I was always moving with my mom, a single mother, moving a lot, always fighting. I did so many things to get money besides sell a coochie. I was stealing, doing the most, you guys. And Billy again, it's like he, his mindset was like, we gonna have to stop doing what we doing, you know, cause it ain't right. And me being me, I'm like, nah, bro, I ain't stopping. You can stop. I ain't stopping because you know I gotta get this money. I've always been a hustler. I've always been that way. And for him to tell me, nah, we have to stop. We have to do it a different way. And that, that changed my life. Like I, we would not be here on YouTube today if I didn't change the lifestyle that I'm living. And if Bay didn't like kind of put his foot down and say, no, we gonna have to change it because it ain't right. I'm, I'm so grateful and I'm so humble for this man. And I just don't even understand the things that he has done for me. Like literally, like he's done so much for me. And it's crazy, you guys. It's beyond me. The proposal, like how he surprised me, took me. Y'all don't understand. I would not be the Eva that you guys know right now. The, 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 the I would not be this person. I would probably be a little hood rat girl. And I'm just grateful because like being with me and Billy together, we make the perfect team. We do things for each other. We we calculate moves and we calculate things together, make things, smart decisions for each other in order for us to make better decisions and I'm always having his back he's always having my back and it's like it's not easy to find somebody like that and the secrets that this man knows about me the things that he knows about me other men could not handle knowing that you feel me like we've always been loyal to each other and we've always been best friends and I just love him so much kid I love him so much we've been through so much no money broke broke as hell having to do so oh yeah I just don't understand yeah I really don't understand and I don't think y'all I, I don't expect y'all to ever understand but I just want y'all to know that I'm getting him I got him this car I saved my coins I did not spend on designers nothing I, I I sacrificed going on a couple trips that I could have gone to because I wanted to get Bay this car I really had to I had to see him smile the way he been making me smile over and over and over and over all these years I just had to do something for him because I haven't surprised him. I haven't, like I have not. I've just been receiving all these gifts from him, receiving all this love and appreciation and stuff. And like all I do, well, I'm not saying that I don't do enough and that I don't deserve it, but 
I just feel like I never gifted him something. And today I'm gifting him something. And his birthday is coming up. I didn't know what he's doing for his birthday. I hear him and his friends talk about going to Columbia or going doing this, that, and the third. And I'm like, okay, whatever. I, I got, I, I saved enough money and I can make this movie. I don't, I know, I don't know if I'm gonna put this in the title, so I don't know if y'all gonna see the card that I got him, but uh, it's epic. The fact that I'm able to do it is a blessing because I would not be able. Oh, I don't. I ain't even trying to cry because my makeup look cute. You feel me? So, because of you guys, I am able to do things for. We are able to do things, you know, and it's all because of you guys. I, I have to say it's all because of you guys because we create for you guys. We entertain you guys, whether it be on Super Size Channel or this channel. My like everything would not be possible without you guys so it's like i'm humbled for you guys and i thank you guys for accepting my creativity and all the ideas that i come up with and everything that i do and for all the viewers that view super size channel beam Squad's channel my personal channel everything everyone who helped me make my life our lives the way it is i'm so thankful for you guys and the fact that i'm able to do this is epic so with all that rambling and mammals and stuff, I just have to show you guys and I have to tell you guys that I got Bay his dream car. Yeah, I know on Instagram he called himself Billy Bentley. I made a rap song a long time ago and I was roasting Bay and I'm like, Billy B, they call you Billy Bentley. Funny though, cause you ain't got no Bentley. And that was always funny to me because he ain't got no Bentley. So I wanted to get him his Bentley and the, the gag is like it was so hard to do it because I didn't know that they were going to send a tailor person to come give him a suit and he had to get fitted. I didn't know all these things. So I just literally had to reject all this services and say, I'm going to make him come back and do all of that. Well, they're going to have to come back and do all of that. But without all that talking, guys, I have to show you guys the car because Billy went to go pick up a sign from school. And I scheduled the delivery time for this car to be between the times that he go pick him up from school. I just got back because I had to drive them to my house because they kind of got lost. And now I have to go. I have to show you guys the car. The rain is coming and the car is wet, which is annoying because I guess the hurricane that's happening over there in North Carolina is bringing some showers over here. I'm trying to brighten this up for you guys. I'm too excited and I'm cheesing because they they just dropped the car off. The bay is about to pull up soon because. It takes him about 30 some, no, actually an hour to pick up Masai from school. I don't want to show y'all yet because y'all ain't ready. Y'all not fucking ready. Y'all not ready for this car. All right, are you guys ready? Comment in the comment section if y'all ready. Stop right now and guess, oh no, I told you that's a Bentley. Oh my God, I don't know what I'm gonna sell, But here you go. Here you go, Billy Bentley. Look at the Bentley. Oh guys, y'all ain't even y'all not even ready for the insides. Look at the rims on this bad boy. Oh you sleep. I don't even think look at the back. Look at this baby. Y'all see this car? Look at from this angle. All right, guys. Yeah, I want to see the inside. I call her Oreo or him, whatever Bay's gonna name it. Look at the interior. Okay, this is all me, and I just know Bay's gonna love it because how can you not? How can you not? How can you not? I think he's pulling up. Yep, he pulling up right now. <laughs> <laughs> You better come here, boy. <laughs> Ooh, you better come here. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Hi, guys. Are you serious right now? Yes. No, you lying. What you mean I'm lying? Look. No, no. For Look. For real. Is that a Bentley? Yes, that's a Bentley. Remember the car that's on Daddy's? Are you serious? Yes, right for now? Daddy. Yes, babe. I'm serious. I'm so serious. You remember the BMW, the house, the puppy, the proposal, the moving us out of Orlando, you stopping me. Okay, come on, because you, you just. Serious right now? Babe. Yes, I'm dead ass. 
And no, this is not a prank. Your eyes turning red and you about to make me cry. So don't cry, cause I'm gonna cry. He's literally making me cry. Cause I knew he wanted this car. Y'all just don't understand. I'm just happy that I could do it. Look at it. We not materialistic people, right? But it's just the fact that I can do this and I'm about to make him cry. You see? <laughs> you you see making you me right cry. Now? Oh my God, you gotta give me a sign. Huh? <sighs> you can't, could you stop? Cause you making me cry. You lying, babe. I mean my, yeah. Oh, I'm not lying. Come here. Let me show you something. <laughs> and here is all your paperwork, just like you did me when I got you your car. Well, you got me my car. All the paperwork is in there. It's like cookies and cream. It is cookies and cream. It's Oreo cookie. That's what I call her. Oh man, guys. Babe, babe messed up my makeup. I was trying not to cry, and now I'm crying. Cause Bae's about to cry. All right, Bae. First of all, right bro, here. This is your car. You know, Remember, you're I've been ranking right you. You pranking me right now? Jesus. I'm not pranking you. I wouldn't be crying if I was pranking you. And listen. Remember, I keep ranking on you and your car, and everybody be like, "Oh, Billy, Ivani's not humble." I'm ranking you in your car. I've been been for like four months now, saving and planning to get you this baby. Oh my God, I just can't believe that I'm able to do this. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. Babe, you believe me, right? Hello? Bruh. Saya. Are you serious right now? Yes, I am serious. starts with a B, mister. He said your name starts with a B, mister. Oh, oh! Look, I just have to. I, I, I ain't gonna. I would be crying too. Of course, I'm crying too. But Ooh. I didn't even cry for my beamer. But this is the next level. And guess what? So the problem that I had was someone came with the car to tailor you a suit. Huh? You get a suit tailored, like they give you a customized suit f just for you, because of this car. Saya. Leave the car. It's open, I think. All right. So someone came and you were not here. You were supposed to get a suit tailored. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. They're going to come back. They're going to come back for you. And, <sighs> babe, is it okay if I get the tag? Are you going to, like, block it or something? I don't care. But from, <laughs> remember, Billy B, they call you Billy Bentley. Funny though, cause he ain't had no Bentley. Big bubble head ass looking like a bug. Billy B, no, Billy Bug is your new name. You not a thug. Babe, you not gonna get in this car? Yeah, I'm gonna get in it, it's just. It's not a prank. I would never prank you cause you never pranked me with the fake car. Dog, oh, look at this. Let me get in it. Look at that B. This is just, how did I do? Do you like the interior? Do you like it? What? Are you serious right now? Yes, because you know. Do you see this shit? <sighs> I don't think you see it, bro. Bro, I, I, I see everything about it. Though I feel like I could take a bite of this shit, kid. Like, you know, it, so everybody agrees that the inside looks like Oreo cookies, right? Don't right? drive it. Yo, my neighbors, my neighbors are literally just slowing down, looking at the car. Because it's like, somebody got a Bentley? Hey, babe, is there any Bentleys on this block? I don't know, not that I know of. We the only, we young and we oh live here. Oh my Ooh. gosh, kid, I can't believe this right now. I can't believe this. I can't believe this, Dad, man. just drive it. My emotions are everywhere right now. You telling me to drive, bro? Yes. Remember when I used to always tell you one day I'm going to buy you a Porsche? Uh, well, times change, things change, and I'm buying you a Bentley. 
You buying it or you brought it? Brought it. Sorry. I brought it. Damn, dog. I can't believe this right now, dog. Do you like it, Dad? I love it. Then drive it. It only has 3,000 miles on it. Yes. It's a brand new car, babe. Yes, I know. Oh my gosh. You guys, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm just ready to take it for a drive. You guys ready? I'm ready for you guys. I feel like it's gonna drive so smooth. It looked like. Oh, what did you press? Right? I didn't even drive it. Wow. I'm lost for words right now. Oh my god. I'm lost for words. You guys ready? Ruby. Yes, stay ready. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is crazy. I got I gotta take this in bro like damn did you hear that what the way it stopped yeah she's so sexy you know it's not a rental right so you know you're gonna drive it as if it's yours guys I don't know babe I, I, I love you I know you I love, love you. you I love you dog I know why is this thing turning black I'm about to cry again, kid. I cried. I don't want to cry. I'm trying to hold it. I'm trying to hold it, bro. This thing is getting me emotional, kid. Like, it's even oh, it feels so God. sad. Oh my gosh, I'm getting so emotional, dog. Why? Why? Tighten up, Billy Fool. Tighten up. <laughs> Tighten up. Fool. Look at the B behind you, man. You have a chain that says Bentley. You have a Bentley chain. I do got that chain, yeah, but Be it's a. That's crazy. It's a throwback Thursday chain. That was like, I mean, when you can't afford a Bentley, you get a Bentley chain. Right? I feel like I did such a good job. I'm so happy. And the guy at the dealership, his name was Mario, and he helped, like, he did the best job at helping me, making me feel comfortable with the decision that I was making, working numbers, and oh, he just did the best. He helped me pick something that, like, he know men like Billy would like. Like men your age, and I was telling him how you wanted a Porsche. So he's like, he knew. I always knew you wanted a coupe of anything. So that's why I definitely knew that you wanted a coupe. And I definitely I knew. I can't believe this. I can't believe this right now, bro. The only thing that was hard was finding a good interior that I, I thought he would like. And this is a two-tone interior. Like this was just rich and luxurious. Two-tone, two bro. <laughs> Yes, I got a peanut butter inside car and Bay got an Oreo cookie inside car. <laughs> I'm so happy that you're so happy. I'm about to give you one billion kisses, you're gonna slap me. That's how much kisses that you're about to get. I don't want to slap you, Bay. We got. Sai, what do you think about the car, baby? Double thumbs up, one million thousand thumbs up. Oh, I know. You think mommy did a good, a great job, right? Yes. Right? Yeah. How did you? Go about keep doing all this like how did you set it up behind my back like i called online like i called them online and i did i made my schedule an appointment with all and it was not really an appointment i just had to walk in and do it and it was mostly the days when you drop side um from school or you go to your webinar seminars in miami to do whatever you do you know the stuff that you do you know all the little what seminars yeah. you've been going to and able to do this all I had to do is find the car that I like he sent me stuff online like through email until I found what I like and then I just had to come do the paperwork <laughs> and we got a new car we got you a new car crazy bro well you get the what you gonna do with the Honda the Honda not going nowhere so I'm I gonna drive I can't drive I'm not driving this on a daily basis look of course Damn, that's crazy. I was gonna have you too, bro. So should I have gotten your Porsche? Which one would you have wanted, the Porsche or nah, this? I actually prefer this because we're about to have another baby too. So I feel like this car is bigger, and you can put the baby back here if you want. Could the camera go right here? Hey, 
what it do be squad damn babe this car fits you you just need a different outfit i wish i would have told yeah, you see my me? outfit is out of there right now i'm sorry guys but i didn't know i know you didn't know you i'm dressed for the occasion i just went to go pick up messiah and then how the hell you did that that fast? They delivered it around between 1 and 2.30 and I made sure that they delivered it on time while you were picking up from a side from school. So that's why you was telling me wait. Yeah, to wait. And I had him go at the perfect time. And then I had to go meet them Did because, they, I it was hard as hell for me to do this. That's why I couldn't wait for your birthday. And then I don't know what you're doing for your birthday. It's just epic, you guys. This is just epic. The fact that I'm able to do this, I'm just the best wifey in the world. Give me the crown. I already know. It's okay, get yourself an eagle because what girl gets a nigga a Bentley? I wait, I wait, ain't no girl like me. But it's okay because ain't no bay like mine.